All right, so Kendrick Lamar is shooting a video for They're Not Like Us. Uh, Again, I can't even hate. Salute to Kendrick Lamar for bringing the West Coast together. You got to give him credit for that. You can't take that away from him. But this is what Snoop Dogg had to say. Chicks. <coughs> Get ready. You know what to do, Chick. Chick Smooth. Hey, Chick Smooth. Appreciate all the coverage that you've been doing. I've been watching your shit for a while. I just subscribed to your shit too, bro. Hey, Drake, move to the side, bro. We got a new king of hip-hop now. Listen. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not... <laughs> Let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill the fuck out now. Let's chill the fuck out. Don't take away what the fuck... Listen... Kendrick has won the beef. This is coming from a Drake fan. Kendrick has won the beef. But Shy acting like this man career is just whoosh, is gone. This nigga Drake, don't forget, this nigga gave you about maybe seven to eight years of good fucking music, nigga. Nothing was the same as a classic. Take care is a classic. If you read this, it's too late as a classic. I like CLB a little bit, but I don't know if I want to call it a classic. But the more little story is don't try to play Drake like he ain't give you a body of work. Man, this might just be people living in the moment. But after Kendrick's pop-out show, a lot of people are giving him the crown of king of hip-hop. The man was able to throw a concert with just people from LA. Not only that, but half the people on the lineup, <coughs> nobody really knows outside of LA. Yesterday, Snoop Dogg himself came out to crown Kendrick the king of the West Coast. Snoop Dogg was one of those people that was not there at the show. A lot of people felt like he should have been there. His presence was missed. Turns out he was out in Canada working. After huh, that's ironic. Drake used his voice in the tailor-made freestyle to diss Kendrick. A lot of people thought Snoop had turned his back on the West Coast and Kendrick Lamar, but looks like that's not the case at all. Here's Snoop Dogg speaking on Kendrick Lamar's pop-out show. Big Snoop Dogg coming at you live from Canada. Sending a big shout out to K Dot and all the homies from the West that stood together, unified, organized. And peace, love. That was beautiful. That was fun to watch. Beautiful to see all of my peoples come together. And um, K Dot, you are the king of the West. That's the kind of shit kings do. We unite. We bring our people. Now it was very ironic that Snoop. It was. I ain't gonna lie. I watched that show live. Dre did his thing, but I ain't gonna lie. Snoop's presence. I felt like Snoop had to be there. But the nigga gotta make his money, so I understand it. But yo, if Snoop was there, phew, Lord have mercy. Snoop was out in Canada while all this was going on. But props to Snoop for still sending a message to K Dots of support. If anything, this was definitely a passing of the torch from one West Coast legend to another. Now, today on the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 735, Ain't No Neutral. If you're a Drake fan, you probably might want to skip this episode. Off the rip, the guys admitted that this was going to be a Kendrick Glaze Fest. It was a whole lot of giving Kendrick it's not, a, it's not a Glaze Fest. The nigga fucking, he came out with a solid record. This is his first number one record. It's not a Glaze Fest, my nigga. It's not a glaze fest. I don't think Drake's career is over, but nigga, the nigga made a whole anthem about you being a fucking child predator. And he, it, he made it go number one. The Family Matter bars, they're not starting to hit because when you he said, Drake said on Family Matters, you can't even go back to your city to plant no money trees. That nigga is in Compton shooting a music video and he had mad different sets on stage in his hometown. I don't even think Drake can do that in Toronto. So you can't even say you oh well you 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 can't even go back to your what do you say in family matters don't even go back to your uh city to plant no money trees the nigga been in Compton what up can you go back to Toronto and plant some money trees Drake lost <laughs> it is what it is now I think people are like I will say this. People are trying to act like Drake's career is finished. I don't think Drake's career is finished. My advice to Drake that if you just drop a record, 
that's bigger than they not like us, which is going to be fucking hard to do, you'll probably get the fans back. Good music washes away all of the bullshit. But I don't think his career is over. For the show and just uniting everybody out there, Parks actually went out to LA to attend the show. He also gave his account of how everything went at the show. But Joe also echoed the same <coughs> sentiments as Snoop Dogg. Here's what Joe said about the Kendrick Lamar pop out show and also crowns Kendrick the king of hip hop. Not like us didn't disappoint. No. What? Each time, all five times. I didn't Whole care. Whole crowd, every fucking word. Loud. When he held it in the beat cut out, I was like, Nah, he's not about that. And then did the fucking Matrix shit. That was the, that was the hardest shit ever. Now, and remember we said about a month, month and a half ago or whenever Not Like Us came out, we wanted to see where it stood closer to July 4th. Mm -hmm. I think we have an answer. What a fun record, though. It, that shit just looked it's fun. It's a fucking fun record, bro. It's a good record. I can't even take it. And, and the thing is about the record, it's, 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 it's close to L.A. It's, it's an L.A. sound. <laughs> you can Listen. All you Drake fans, you could be mad and upset and be pissed off, or you could just understand that what Kendrick Lamar did won't be replicated. And I did see another thing. I did see a lot of people um, running around saying, oh, we was out. We ain't heard not like us. We ain't heard not like us. Shit. God, oh, the record is, uh, it, it came and went. I'm like, mm, nigga, what? Who said that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what y'all are talking about. That was the other funny part. Not the. I know we're not talking about the other gentleman, but all of those who felt like they picked the side and had to to rep that side. That shit's annoying, bro. It was. It was just great watching them grasp the straws. They were mm -hmm. looking for anything. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, she's not there. Oh well, yeah, she was there. She's, she's, they were running background checks on everybody that was on stage. I'm like, yeah, come on. Yo, man, I what wish we these fucking loser ass emotional bitch ass niggas would take their loss and move. That's it. Yo, no, That's no, it. You bitch ass man. niggas, shut the fuck up already. She talking about DJ Academics? Cause that nigga can't sleep at night. It's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Y'all are into investing. First of all, these rappers don't even know y'all. And even if they did know some of y'all niggas, they're just going to use you as a pawn so it can make it seem like they're up in whatever feud that they got going on. Do I think Drake fucks with academics? Probably. Who knows? But honestly, if I could use DJ academics to make my name look good, why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't I do it? Especially if he's number one in his field in the media. I mean, DJ Academics tried everything. When I saw DJ Academics was like, oh, Kendrick Lamar is using bots. I was like, nigga, please. Before Kendrick Lamar even performed, they not like us. This shit, the, the, the song was going crazy. I'm a Drake fan. I fuck with Drake. The nigga lost. Move the fuck on. Niggas is like, really like, yo, yo, Drake did what Drake did this, Drake did da, da, da. He lost. <laughs> he lost. He lost. He didn't. It wasn't like how Pusha T. I mean, he put up a good fight, but he lost. It's a bunch of boxers that put up a good fight and they lose. Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Or, oh no, Errol Spence didn't put up no good fucking fight. That nigga got his ass whooped. Let me think of another boxer. Okay, Frank Martin and Javante Davis. Frank Martin put up a good solid fight, but at the end of the day, he lost. He lost. It's okay to lose. Don't be like Devin Haney. Don't be like Devin Haney. Don't be trying to like, oh, you cheated. No, the nigga didn't cheat. The nigga dropped a better record. And he beat Drake in a battle. Now, do I think Drake's career is over? No. But as far as this back and forth, this feud, he even said it in the heart part six. I don't want to do this with you no more. It's over. Y'all are finding anything in the well. Oh, Whitney's not there. I don't care. I didn't even what care. What did it matter? Her? I didn't even care. <laughs> and then she was there, dude. That's, yeah, that's what made it even funnier. And now I got to go back to, oh, I said I wasn't going to do it. But God damn it, that YG line from the disc, when YG is out there dancing, like some of them shits just. I told you. That's what I'm saying. Some of them Family Matters bars, they don't hit no more. I, uh, you know who really banging set my nigga YG. You try to use YG and your beef, and it backfired. Now that nigga's at Kendrick Lamar's show dancing, and he at the music video shoot. The other bar, don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. The nigga was in Compton, moving comfortably, eating fried chicken. 
It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I aged horribly, and that concert put a highlight on it. That you know y, who that really y, that, YG, said? that YG weird record oh, was a response. Oh, my nigga, YG, what's the other line that he said? That just said oh, I get more love in the West than you. Oh, drop that record. All Go of that, drop that record. I'm cooking. Aged bad. This it did. The nigga did. you was battling, talking about, don't make me have to chip a nail, nigga. Oh, my God. Kendrick, man, <laughs> I got to hug you. I don't know where it's got to be. I don't know who has to facilitate it, but you and I need a transfer of energy. I like Snoop's response today. Yeah, it was classy. It, it was classy. Cla it was classy. Very it was dope. different from our game, yeah. Yo, mm. Kendrick is. Oh yeah, the okay. game. The game was tight. The game was tight as hell. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I know the game wanted to be up there in that stage. But what the fuck did the game expect, nigga? You t you had Drake in, in 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 California when that nigga's not even from here. That's really what the They Not Like Us record is about. Like, what the fuck do you got this Jewish nigga uh, from Toronto in our city when niggas then died over street colors? Niggas then died and put in pain in the streets. And you got this nigga who was a Degrassi actor in L.A.? In Compton? No wonder why you ain't get a fucking invite. Nigga, I wouldn't invite you. You got this Degrassi, bushed, eyebrow, light-skinned nigga in Compton, California. A place where niggas really, really squabble and get shit and get busy. I would have made sure you're fucking. Act. I would have made sure you was. I would have made sure you wouldn't even get to see the show in the parking lot, nigga. And the game sitting here upset that oh I didn't get my respect. Nah, 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 nah. Please, you deserve to not. Yeah, yeah, it's over, nigga. Family and friends, nigga. You're not a friend. The West. He's the king of the West. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, he's not the king of the West. He's the king of all that shit. Ooh. He's just king of the West. I'm sorry. It's mm -hmm. over for that. That nigga's the king of all this shit. I know. I know. I know. I don't care. That's where I'm at three days after. I, I mean, maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The only thing that Kendrick Lamar got to do, he got to drop an album, bro. He got to drop an album. You can't do all of this, all this build up, all of this hype. You gotta drop an album. You already got the number one song of the summer. It has to follow up with an album. Or he, you could just go ghost for six months. It don't really matter. If, if, if Kendrick Lamar goes ghost for six months or drops an album, people are still gonna fucking listen to it. It's not gonna matter. Concert. Sorry. <laughs> I, I watched that shit. But I, I, I would love a Kendrick album. Let me stop pausing. Before y'all get on my ass, oh, you pausing too much. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't see anybody, <coughs> anybody in the field that could do this. Nope. Now, some of that might have been a little bit of spite towards Drake. Drake and Joe have had a very interesting relationship over the years. Sometimes they're cool with each other. Other times they're dissing each other. You guys saw that long ass paragraph that Drake wrote to Joe. But obviously, this was Joe's own opinion. I think for Kendrick to be the unified king of everything hip hop right now, he's got to drop more music. This has been the main knock on Kendrick's career. He's not active Thank enough you. and he takes a lot of time off. Thank you, you see somebody like Drake who's had a long run a long career he drops music every year on a very consistent basis and let's not forget there was rumors that kendrick was supposed to drop his album in may we're now in late june almost july and we still don't have an album from kendrick now knowing he had to spank this light skin nigga that's why but i think we'll get a project it wouldn't make no sense for him to disappear now you outside you outside with it all right come on drop an album let's get it and this is the perfect opportunity to put your record label PG Lane on. So he got to drop an album. Kendrick's personality, he can easily say fuck it. Go back to chilling for the next couple of years like nothing happened. But if he truly wants to seize this moment, you got to drop music on a consistent basis. Tell so me what you guys think about Snoop Dogg and Joe Budden's high praise of Kendrick Lamar and his pop out show. Obviously, right now, we know he has the crown for the West Coast. But for all the hip hop, I'm not too sure about it. Push comments below. Scratch. Hey, man, he got the song of the summer. But at the, at, at the same time. You gotta drop an album. All right, so we're gonna go to the game. That motherfucker was about to fucking, not crash out, but that motherfucker, he seemed like he was hurt that he ain't get invited to that show. I ain't gonna lie. If I saw a... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
sitting here coughing and shit. I ain't gonna lie. If I, if I saw Bobby Altoff, the white girl that be doing the interviews, if she in bumped in, in the game, it's not. That would make me. That, that would make me feel some type of way. You got the white girl who do interviews, who built like Taylor Swift. She in the projects, but the game can't get an invite. I know. Bobby, say what's bracken, Bobby. Say, what's bracken, Bobby? Say, what? Why y'all got that white girl out there? Why y'all got that white girl out there? I know. Bobby, say what's bracken, Bobby. Say, what? She like, oh my god, this is not my local Starbucks. <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just fucking around. Let me, let's play what the game had to say. That nigga looked like he was about to cry. To sit where y'all sit <coughs> in your house and try to look and gauge this shit from where y'all sitting. But it's a lot of fuckery that go on in this industry, man. And uh, you know, y'all can see from uh, you know what happens to some of you know some 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 of y'all certain celebrities y'all follow and whatnot. This shit ain't what it's all cracked up to be. And because I don't want to play internet games with niggas all the time or be on the small every day or be on these motherfucking these people red carpet or doing all this shit i ain't i like that shit ain't for me man i got into the game thinking that this shit was gonna be one way and it was a whole other way so i had to you know navigate myself through this shit you know the whole the, my, my whole time in this shit and i've been in this motherfucker since 2003 right because that's when i got signed to aftermath 2003 i've been in this shit since 2003 being a solid ass to everybody and if you that ain't solid what you do, I mean, what you expect, bro? You got songs with both of these niggas. The game has a song with Kendrick Lamar called In the City. You have a song with Drake called 100. But it's just on some shit to where it's just like, yo, you, we, we keep this shit West Coast. If we supposed to unify the West Coast together, why do you have a Degrassi ass nigga in Compton? And maybe you felt like, oh, well, Drake is a cool ass nigga and he cool with me. Da -da 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 but let's keep it real. Kendrick Lamar and Drake been beefing, not beefing, but they've been throwing slick shots for the past 10 years. The game knew that. Kendrick Lamar is looking at it as, nigga, you chose your side. Stay there. Stay there. And truth be told, it's just mad funny because when the concert was going on, I didn't even think about the game. You ask anybody, you know, anybody that really know me that's in this motherfucking industry, and I'm talking about anybody. You could ask motherfucking, go ask Dr. Dre, man. Like, sit Dr. Dre down and really ask that about who I am and my character and, uh, you know, like, what he really feel about me at the end of the day. <coughs> man, the artist and all the rest of that shit. I'm talking about as a man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my nigga Nip. But ask Nip, his, you know, if you could ask Nip himself, he would have told you. And he did tell you out of his own mouth of what, you know, I contributed, you know, to his career. From the beginning, bro. From the beginning of this shit, on the West Coast, coming straight out of West Side Cedar Block, bombed in Pyro, um, which is still my hood to this day. They ain't never slacked, they never ran, they never did nothing but throw this shit up. I took that Cincinnati hat worldwide, I put on for Compton. And I put on for the West Coast. And for a person that don't seem like he bothered, he looked like he bothered. When a nigga be like, I don't be on this internet shit, but the first thing he do is go on the internet. You could tell that this nigga, you feel some type of way. And it's okay to feel some type of way. See, this is the problem with niggas. Niggas want to try to downplay everything. It's okay if you was like, yo, damn, yo, I've been putting the West on for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I got the fucking, I got LA tatted on my, he got the fucking tattoo on his fucking face. It's okay to be like, yo, I did my little thing for the West Coast. Yeah, I'm probably not like how Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and all those other guys is. But, you know, I put L.A. close to my heart. You feel me? I put L.A. on the map. I'm a part of L.A. I'm a part of the family, too. How come I ain't get an invite? It's okay if you feel some type of way about it, my nigga. Which you shouldn't because Ice Cube wasn't invited. Oh, I, don't, I ain't going to say he wasn't invited. Ice Cube didn't show up. Snoop wasn't there. There's other... LA people that it wasn't there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like if 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 you got songs with Kendrick Lamar and you got songs with Drake, you might as well just take the Twenty One Savage approach. Just stay neutral. Hey, I got songs with both of these guys. Hopefully they rekindle their relationship. If they don't rekindle their relationship, it's all love between both of them and you stay the fuck out the way. 
It seemed like you was Team Drake for for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. But who knows? Top Dog know what it is. Kendrick know what it is. The YG know what it is. Mustard know what it is. Ty Dolla Sign know what it is. Dr. Dre know what it is. Snoop know what it is. A hit Boy know what it is. My Dom Kennedy know what it is. All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on this motherfucker know what motherfucking Chuck Taylor is and what I am and, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast. Drake or the ruler know what it was with me. Um, you know, we chopped it. He was in the studio. You know, R.I.P. is so. I, one thing I is when the West Coast motherfucker that I fuck with um, lose their life. That shit ain't cool to me. That shit ain't cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit is up against each other and then go under the mother. And, uh, you know, the comments and shit put R.I.P. this and R.I.P. that one and then tell a backtrack on your motherfucking, on your gaslighting ass fan, fanhood, you know what I'm saying? And and tell it, you know, oh, you should have, y'all should have squashed that and y'all should have been bigger than that. Nah, man, a lot of a lot of y'all motherfucking fans be the reason this shit is all fucked up. What do you say fuck me for? What do you say fuck me for? Because I'm a fan. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. You making you making something like it's, it's not like that, bro. No pun intended, because <laughs> that's Kendrick Lamar's song. But it's not even like that. It's not even like that at all. I think it's just simple as like, yo. It seems like Kendrick. I'm just speaking from Kendrick Lamar's po point of view. It just seems like you chose the the Canadian nigga. So since you chose that side, you stay over there. You stay over there. It's just that simple. When you bringing up other artists that passed away and stuff like that, no, nobody's saying that you're not a, a huge impact in L.A. culture. You are. But, nigga, if you you know how L.A. LA works. You know how L.A. politics is. You know L.A. always stick together. Why do you have that light-skinned neg not Negro because he's not black. Oh, no, he is. Drake is black. He's half. But anyway, why do you have Drake in Compton, my nigga? Now, as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake shit, that's Kendrick and Drake shit. You know what I'm saying? They Kendrick do his shit, and uh, what he did last night, nigga, that shit was amazing for the West Coast. I sat back and I watched it. I ain't have to be there. You know. That's a crispy ass tank top. You know what I'm saying to think that the shit was motherfucking cool to major. That's cool. Now, I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what what K Dot did for a lot of West Coast niggas last night was hard as. F I think it was hard. I think it was dope of him and, and big hearted of him to do that shit. For us. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga learned that shit on the way up. The same way that he looking out, niggas didn't look, nigga, Snoop looked out for me like that. I looked out for motherfucking Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out. Mm -hmm. You think Kendrick Lamar would say the same thing if he was to ask him? Maybe. They do got a record together, so I'm not. I mean, he, I mean Kendrick got to respect the game in some type of way. Up until he, you know, was doing songs with Drake. I feel like the game feels like he doesn't get appreciated in the rap game. And the game does have some solid good records. I'm not. I wasn't a huge fan of game, the game, but "Hate It or Love It" is one of my favorite records. With him and Fifty Cent. I feel like he doesn't get his flowers. That's probably why he's lash not lashing out, but that's probably why he's like, you know, ranting. Off a of top dog before it was, you know, top. I could have top dog. Um, top dog wanted to motherfucking give me half a top dog. I didn't want nothing from niggas though, bro. I just want oh, really to push niggas in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him. I met Nip on the streets. I brought Nip in the studio, Encore Studios, Burbank, California. I got on two of his songs and let him go do his thing. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power. But I was just a step on the ladder for something, you know, I was just, you know, there for a nigga that was already going to go to the moon. But I ain't going to try to strike Chuck Taylor and say I ain't do what I did. I looked out for everybody on the coast. Ask Glasses Malone. Ask anybody that you can ask. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, anybody about my game. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast. I ain't did nothing but look out for this. That's all I did. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world. I did this shit for years. I did this shit for years. On my own. <coughs> Every motherfucking beef, battle, motherfucking shit out. Anything that came towards the West Coast or Compton, I stood up on that shit. Me and my niggas. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody know this shit. And the internet and motherfucking, um, you know, IG, Instagram, and Twitter, and all these, you know, free ass motherfucking mixed emotions ass. Uh, He's saying all this. Snoop didn't even go. I don't even know if Snoop got an invite or not, but Snoop didn't even pull up, and, and, and he didn't even say all this shit. Snoop handled it well. I I wonder if Ice Cube said anything about Kendrick Lamar going uh about his show. I I just I don't know. I, I think this is more about him not being respected. That's what I think this is about. Cause there's a bunch of LA motherfuckers that didn't pull up. Hopping ass apps and sites is what. Shit, Brown was there, and that nigga from Ohio. He just happened to play in L.A. This shit up, man. This shit used to be smooth as shit. So yesterday when I look at, you know, what Dot did for the city, I personally thought that that shit was amazing. He didn't have to do that, but he did it. And I thought the shit was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, God, Drake is my brother. I fuck with Drake. Now, Drake, if I call Drake and I told him I need this or I need that, he gonna do it. If I tell him my kids want concerts, tickets, nigga, he gonna... But it don't work like that, my nigga. The nigga said, Ken, Kendrick Lamar said, nigga, f <laughs> what the fuck did he say in Euphoria? He said, fuck anybody that's... Yeah, if you fucking with him, then I fuck you too, nigga. He don't like the nigga. If I see you conversating with a nigga I don't like, cool. You can hang out whoever you want to hang out with. But when we politic and when we do our thing, nigga, go, nigga. See, niggas be they're like they're niggas be niggas be trying to play both sides. You ever watch The Wire, and and, and, and you, you watch The Wire and a character Prop Joe, Proposition Joe. That's who this nigga is. You trying to play both sides, and now you fucking around. You getting clipped. You gotta choose one side. Or just stay neutral and don't say nothing. That's what 21 Savage did. Stay in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first. And, and my loyalty is what? Mother is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking shit behind my back, then it's fuck you, nigga. It's fuck you, nigga. And nigga know what it is with me, bro. I'm going to stand on this shit and you can't move me unless you move me. And it take a lot to do that. Because niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing no lines on the West Coast. This ain't the only niggas out here pushing lines. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years. Standing on motherfucking toes in this shit. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years. Nigga, 20 plus years. And like I said... Alright, this, this ain't even about the show at this point. He just fucking rambling. Can we get to the end? I've heard enough. On the coast on one stage from different hoods doing their shit. That shit don't make me sad, man. That shit makes me happy. Nigga, I love to see that shit. Because I'm on... Compton, I'm an LA. You know what I'm saying? So here's what it is, man. That shit look beautiful to me. But y'all not gonna change my morale or make me be this or that. You know, I'm gonna stay solid. I'm gonna stay solid with whoever stay solid with me. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, that's that. It, you know, that shit gonna be what it's gonna be. Me and Top Dog, we solid. Me and K Dot, we solid. Me and Tommy Tom, we solid. Punch. Just know what it is. We ain't never not been solid. And nigga in the comments right now, like, if, if Drake why are you worrying about the niggas in the con? Yeah, this nigga, get this nigga out of here, bro. Anyway, I, I'm looking forward to the uh, Kendrick Lamar uh, video shoot the drop. That they not like us music video. I'm looking forward to hearing that shit drop. Other than that, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. This nigga just rambling at this point about nothing. You're talking about some random niggas in the fans. Who cares? If you got the L.A. niggas approval, if you got Kendrick Lamar's approval, if all them TD, if, if all the L.A. niggas that you said, if they said that you solid, if you solid with them and they solid with you, why are you caring about what a nigga say in the comments? Why do you care? Why do you care? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.